And this is for the Danny Myers battle? Yeah, they're doing the face-offs. Yo. Fam. Yo, Rock is... Welcome to the Get Your Bars On Pod. <laughs> Starting off heavy, man. Let's get straight to the shits. Rock checking Danny on that on that street shit, man. Yo. He's pretty much saying to him, like, yo, you, I, we never looked at you like that, so why are you even bringing up angles like that for, for the people? I can see where Rock is coming from, bro. Like, And this is not even on some, like, oh, Danny Myers, hey, Brigade. I fuck with Danny Myers as a rapper. Yo, I don't, nobody's ever, like... You know what I'm saying? Is check Danny or stamp Danny or somebody like, yo, he's one of the movers out there or something like that, like prior to whatever. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate Danny for his great rapping. Now, him bringing up that shit, Rock probably was like, yo, just, I, I'm not comfortable with you doing that shit. Don't fuck up the battle. That's all. Because I mean, I've been waiting for this battle for a grip. Do not fuck up the battle. It's not even that, bro. It's just, everybody has their fucking, uh, Boiling point. line where it's just like, yeah, boiling point where it's like, yo, everybody, I'm not about to be the fucking butt of the joke to everybody, especially not you, nigga. Like, you not about to make me butt of the joke. It's rock. No one, that nigga been the butt of the joke for a right. while. Right. Niggas is fed up. Exactly. So, in my opinion, I see rock is, has every right to feel how he feel. Now, going crazy like that, that's just his own, that's his own thing. I wouldn't do that personally. But I can see why he's where he it was in the line to check Danny. Be like, yo, bro, let's just hear we're here to rap. Bro, we're like not, that, we're not hearing bro, that such. It's cameras and shit like that, man. It, it's always gonna be on. cameras. But he That's why him. I think that's more why he checked them. That's why he checked them like that. He put more sauce. He put more sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not, not, yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, I mean, what did this just stance on that anyway? Where it's just in this stance of battle right, where where everything is open to the public. You know what I'm saying? News wise and all that stuff. Gucci, Gucci, Gotti, Tree. We can take it back to the back in the day. A verb, M hands, all that shit like that is open to the public. And it's like anybody can, it's like a, a, a fair public. I mean, what is it called? Like, uh, uh, when a new trademark is public, is free to the public now. And everybody gets to utilize it now. So fair it's like use when, to the public. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when that is like that, with an angle, it's like anybody can use this angle now. Not as free to the public. But now it's just like, all right, I'm not comfortable. I'm not even comfortable. I'm not cool with you using that because, bro, I don't even look at you like that. Once again, Rock and Danny, well, Rock is looking at Danny more so like, yo, we just here to battle. I'm not yeah, looking at you like a battle. Respect. Right. It's not like a battle with Mook or like, right. you know what I'm saying? I don't know any battles that he just had disdain for people off rip. But Rex. Yeah, Rex, right? Yeah, that too, but... Um, but yeah, so it's just like, I don't see where, you know what I'm saying, Danny thought that was, he, and that's the thing, Danny be doing stuff where it's like, okay, I'm battling this guy, let me bring this energy to him, you know what I'm saying, what happened to the rap guy shit, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. I do, I do, I do, also before I finish that statement, I do want to see the whole face off, because I want to do see, what's good, Jank, you already know, trees in the Oh, Jank, what's shaking, man, I'm gonna pack a little something later. But, um... Yeah, I'm interested to see what would what, what all led into the situation because I, I wonder what led what led Danny into saying that. You know what I'm saying? Or if it just came off, he just said it off the hip. You know what I'm saying? So I do need to see the face off myself to get that. But from seeing where that is and seeing what he was saying to him, I could understand that. I don't know, bro. Like you said, everything nowadays, there's a camera everywhere. There's a camera at least five feet from you, six feet from I mean, from he put hands on him, did he? But like you said, public. Fair use to the public. Now, this is an angle that can be brought up tomorrow. This can be an angle that can be brought up in the future. Like, and we don't know what Danny said to trigger that. So we, know we gotta see. We gotta, we gotta see. see that. Yeah. You know, when Rock, it's a lot you can say. I say we don't like who knows what if Rock says something to Danny. And I'm not saying the camera is playing devil's advocate mildly, but I just gotta see it once again. But what else? Anything else crazy from the face off before we get into these uh, super fight predictions? Let me check the chat. Uh, nothing else, really. I mean, that's the first, that's the only thing I've seen pop up, really. I think they were but, the first face off, I believe. Because, so. I mean, we might as well talk, get the face off prediction out because 
this car got like literally swept under the rug because of what we're gonna talk about after. Mm-hmm. But um it's a good card yeah. too. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Not one it's not not one Wonder of my that. favorite super no, I'm just saying it's not one of my favorite super fight cards, but it's a cool card. We got a little bit for everybody here. We have bars, we have performance, we have anglers, we got everything for everybody in this card, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna start off from the top though. Tay Rock and Danny. What are we doing? I am going to go. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go Tay Rock. Only reason why I just felt like the energy that I got from Danny and K Shine. No matter of fact, I'm gonna take that back. Because last time he was in that type of setting where he was going to get somebody he was who was a dog, and he finally got that opportunity, he showed up. But the setting was a little different. You know what He's I'm saying? At home. Smallest, well, yeah, but I'm just saying the setting of, like, the smaller setting, the cr- like the, the energy in the room, the like Smack Volume 1, compared when he versus when, K, when he went against K-Shine. Like, I feel like the – these those two battles felt the same to me in the sense in Danny Meyer's storyline. But um the super fight stage and the smack volume stage is bigger than it was. So it's like Rock can do more of his things, which can work in both settings, depending what rock we really get. If we get a a, a C grade rock versus a A or B, you know what I'm saying? A C grade rock is really bad in my opinion. But um I just think if he if if he, I think Brock is the guy who has to play the defense, but with his defense, he can play great offense. That makes sense in a better rap sense. He like, gets the upper hand with right, the, like he the, knows the, the people. Box. He knows like Danny's gonna have the people like, oh, he can outbar me, all of that such whoop de whoop. But Brock also be able to, you know, what I'm saying with a bigger stage, be able to get a little bit of bars that could be able to get the people going a little crazier. Not too many over the head joints that he would need. That would be in a more smaller setting that could be able to work. I don't. I think this might be this setting. These newer settings for these cards, even because this super fight is not going. It's not going to be like the setting from the old super fights, which is that smaller setting. Know. Also, I don't know. They surprised us with that Smack Volumes uh, setting. But as I'm saying, the co- that was a bigger room though. It was bigger than what the usual Smack Volume was. Even right. COVID and all of that stuff, but. Rock does very well against pens. History shows. JC, Chilla, uh, Magic, uh, Nitty. He does very well against the pen guys. That's what I'm saying. He's always going in on the defense because people like he go, people are going to feel like he's going to get cooked. So mm-hmm. I feel like he's going to find little ways to be able to, you know what I'm saying, do things that will be able to keep the crowd engaged, you know what I'm saying, consistently throughout his rounds. As to Danny will have some fire joints, then it might have an over the head joint you might got to get later, and you might have to catch up where he, you know what I'm saying? Little things like that. Rock can't but do that. He can't. So it depends. If building, it might be Rock. Cam might be Danny, but I think it might be Rock mm-hmm. taking a fan vote. I am going to stand firm, even with the fiasco with the face off, I'm going to stand firm with my Danny 2 1 prediction. I think. Danny is the better writer. I think we can all agree with that. Danny's the better mm-hmm. writer. Uh, Performance-wise, Rock has him beat by a little bit. Because let's not forget, Danny can perform. Danny he don't got, but he don't gotta. I hate God, I gotta kill my brother. Turn, turn my turn head. My head. It is just a subtle thing. Like Danny, Danny ain't got doesn't that. have that, but he also has lines like what he told Kid Chaos. I left him with all the toys. Spoil rotten. I left kid with all the toys, spoil rotten, or like I gave him the brain freeze and that was mine to slush. That's fire, but like, it's not the same impact, bro. I think Danny has something to prove here. I think he is, while people, I saw a poll that had Rock as the underdog. I think Danny's the underdog here. I think battles that Danny is the underdog, history has shown he has come out, maybe not the winner, but he's performed very well. Him and Verb was one of those battles. Him and Shine. Um, him, him and um, even him and Rex. Him and Rex. He was an underdog against Rex, and he performed very well. He beat Rex. 
So I think this will he just was an underdog it. versus Rex. He was. He was Boy. in New York. Ari, he was Boy. in New York. He Nigga, he battled New in New York for years. What are you talking about? First like URL first battle in New, in New York in a big bro. Just everything Nigga, surrounding like he that never battle. battled in New York, my nigga. Just everything surrounding that battle, though. He gave Rex the bro. Come on. Rex had he was not the underdog going into that. It was Danny. Oh, you said Danny. I thought you said Rock. Yeah, you know, Danny. Was I was about to say, wait, I was about to say, wait a second. That show was in Philly, actually. <laughs> But anyway, like, yeah, Danny was the underdog, yeah, for sure. Danny 2 1. I think, um, given this whole face off business, I think this is going to be one of the ones to watch. It was already one of the ones to watch for me, but now it got that thing. Loaded Lux voice. It got that thing. You know what I'm saying? That thing, that thing. Might have heard Danny. This might have heard Danny. Because, you know, vets, vets definitely write shit day of and add shit in. Who's the same? Rock I hear. It's possible he could. Danny is more known for freestyle and oh, let's not forget that. Danny can rebuttal. I didn't say freestyle, I just said add it to your shit. That nigga might be coming up with a rebuttal right now for that. Probably is. Who knows? But um, I got rock two one, man. Sue, who you got? I got Tay Rock. I fuck with Danny though. Danny is a good battle rapper. It's just as of late, Tay Rock been showing his ass more pause. I don't think like Danny. I forgot the last Danny battle I seen. I think it was like during the summer sometime. It might have been chaos. Yeah. Like he, I seen him at events, but I haven't seen like a battle. Him and chaos. Well, he did to chaos and in no. Let's not forget either. Danny is undefeated in super fights. Mm. Narrative God go narrative. He's undefeated in super fights. Get these ESPN stats the fuck out of here, bro. I'm just we got a fact in super super fights. Like just because he's at a super fight, he means yo, I gotta go crazy at the super Who fight. Who he battled? He battled drugs on a super fight. He battled chaos. Um, he he got a third one in there. Um, was it Mike P? One of those? Mike P. In real sick. That was the same one he battled chaos in. No, didn't he battle Mike P. At a super fight? Nah, he battled them in like an app event. Oh, that was the app. They just battled at the same venue. We know, we know how that turned out. You lost. No, it was, no, I only said it because it was at the same venue. I believe that's why it kind of confused me. But um, next, yeah, battle, next battle, JC Sharon, the Smack Killer, the Black Killer, the yeah, Smack no, Killer. Shout out my nigga Joe. Nah, y'all know what it. Y'all know what that shit really mean. Smack Killer Gang. That's you know what what that was KG. cold. That was cold for racism. Let me tell you what it really meant. <laughs> surf X, surf I'm telling X. you, bro. I'm telling you, smack killer means black killer. Yo, niggas from the old country, aka the old era of battle rap. That's what I'm gonna start calling. The old, I'm, gonna start call, I'm gonna start calling everything from the old era the old country, bro. <laughs> like when the Sopranos, when they talk about like the old niggas from the Sicily and shit. Yeah, from yeah, the yeah, old yeah. The country. guys from the old country. <laughs> Shout out, shout out for Pranos, man. I'm on season four right now. Oh boy, moving and grooving, man. Yo, oh boy, moving and grooving. Did, did you hear what I had told Sue off camera? How I found out who the big death. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We we'll talk about that. We we'll talk about that after. We we'll talk about that after. But stay attention. So Broke my heart. I know. So, um, so uh, <laughs> me. you want to tell me so bad? <laughs> <laughs> But back to battle rap. Shout out to our boy. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he's the family man. But um, yes, so we was talking about JC and the black killer that y'all yeah. love to praise. He gonna kill JC. He gonna look like Judas the way he killing JC. So y'all don't understand that they even called this man the smack killer on the Riot League versus Oops. Oops ain't battle on smack? Oh, so you got a battle on Smack one time, aka. I checked. Oops, he, battle he's, on he's, Smack. So he's a, he's a URL battle rapper now. Oh uh, yeah. Oh word. He was up there. He took a URL battle over fucking one of them RBE joints. You ain't hear from me. That nigga's an RBE dude. 
and he called that nigga the smack killer versus him. I get what you're saying because when he that battled nigga John ain't John, even from that nigga ain't even smack, bruh. When he battled John John on KOTD, they tried to push that narrative too. That's so I get where what you're it saying. started. I get That's what you're where it saying. started. And all, but I ain't see I ain't see no motherfucking uh what's his name? What's my boy name? Uh that came that came back versus disaster. I'm high, bro. I can't think of this shit right now. Uh uh disaster. The whack ass battle, bro. Oxymoron? Nah, well, nah, that battle was dope. But the long awaited return, bro. Oh, Soul Con. Soul Con. Right. Imagine if they had him versus Soul Con and they said Smack Killer. And I'd be like, all right, that's understandable. Nigga, Soul yeah. Con. What? You, what? You gonna compare What's... Soul Con to Sharon? No, I'm not comparing them. I'm saying that if Sharon was to battle Soul Con and it was like, oh, yeah, he's going against. You know what I'm saying? What's his name? SoCon's going against the Smack Killer, Sharon. I'll be like, oh, all right, understand. So you you want him to they have him. not one white battle rapper go against that man and say the Smack Killer. The how many white battle rappers on Smack though? Iron Solomon is <sighs> what what. Lie, go and lie, Los. Where my go nigga Joe lie. at, man? Joe, see, man. Whoa, Joe pause, the... pause, Kathy. That sounds crazy. Yo, for real. You gotta relax. You gotta relax, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> what she call him? Bro, bro. I ain't repeating bro, that. Big bro. Yo, she did that on purpose. <laughs> she did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, you ain't shit, man. <laughs> we ain't repeating that, man. Y'all gonna have to scroll through the comments. Man, Sharon 2-1. Sharon 2-1. Clear, 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 clear. Yeah, we ain't gonna say that. Disgusting. That's that pain oh, no. right there. Pain of Rees. Now I'm just reading shit that pop up on my computer. I think JC going, you know, he going to do what JC do. He going to go up in there and rap, rap his ass off. But Sharon just has, he got that thing. You know what I'm saying? Loaded Lux voice. He got that thing. He, he got something that, it's like DNA, right? Just when you think you got DNA backed into a corner, what does he do? He finds a way to win. Same with Danny. Here you go. He's another one. I don't know, Chief. Let me guess. JC 3-0? 2-1. What round you give Sharon? Probably the second for some rebuttals. Sue? I got Sharon. See the light. See the light. I'm going with my black, going with my black Israelites. I'm going for Sharon. JC Jew? I guess Sharon... Uh, the second and the third. <laughs> JC is a black Israelite, apparently, right? <laughs> I thought he was like Filipino or something. Hey, yo. What? Didn't he used to like pop lock and shit? So wow, all Filipinos pop lock? That's how you thought he was Filipino? He thought he was part of the Java Wookiees. Wow. Yeah, you know? You see, it continues. It Chilla continues, Jones bro. versus Serious Dude, Jones. man. Oh, it's Sue Duke down here, man. Sue Duke. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, I got your room. Taking it to. I'm telling you, Brad. David Daniel down here, man. David Daniel. <laughs> 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 ah! Triple B! David Daniel Duke! <laughs> <laughs> David Daniel Duke. David Daniel Duke, the bigot. God damn you, Triple man. three. We're shaking. Jesus Christ, man. This we guy. got chill up. We got Jones squared for the next battle. I got Jones with two one. Jones is cooking. Wait, which one? You just said Jones squared and said I got Jones two one. Nigga, which one? What the fuck? <laughs> I got Jones 2-1, you know what I mean? The Jones from Boston, not the two Jones. 2-1 either Jersey. way. The Jones, Jones from Boston. Jones 2-1 either way. 
If you say the bold Jones, it's the same thing because they're both bold. Yeah, I got Chilla Jones also. I, I mean, not saying like that. Just, I mean, I don't know, man. Just, I'm not. I can't be in the prisoner at the moment. I'm sorry. Sirius Jones is cooking food, but yeah, I can't be prisoner. Props. At the moment. I can't be prisoner in the moment. Chilla Jones is still Chilla Jones. But so, it will. It, it, hopefully, it's a great battle, though. I got. I'm gonna trip you out. Battle of the night. Battle of the night. Interesting. Darius is capable of doing that too. You know that. The Jones Square. Are they gonna be best Jones friends after this battle? Jones Jones could be capable of doing it too. They are gonna smoke a little pack. Uh -huh. That'd be that'd be awesome if they're best friends after this. Best friends game. The Jones squared. So you said Chilla? Yeah, I feel like Chilla can pull it out a battle of the night. <laughs> I feel like he could. What makes you think? Bean Town, man. Boss Town. I was like, never mind. It's the I wording. <laughs> and you know what Kathy said. And then what? you couple that with the you know I mean? It looked crazy. Boss, 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 boss. <laughs> Not even boss town, boss. You, but you I got know. it, chief. I know you got what it. You're about. <laughs> random, oh, random goonie matchup of the um of the night. Uh, drugs and Lou Castro. <laughs> Yo, the fact that they said they put in this contract with this nigga drugs got to battle all of his friends. <laughs> Word. Because he battled what Jack Smith in the URL. To get, yo. He battled yo. Jack as an initiation. Damn near. That's crazy. He battled Twerk. I'm just paying bills right now. He battled Lou. Jeez. At this point, it's just like, are you, man. Like, this Didn't he battle Ace on, um, Rider 2 in the 2 on 2? Mm hmm. Fam. Oh man, I got Lou 3 0. Lou got a little something to prove back to back yeah. losses from A Ward and uh, Fonz. I think he lost to A Ward clear, lost to Fonz clear. He has something to prove. The nitty battle, he didn't look so good. A little debatable battle, but I think he's going to catch a clear W here. I think I might go drugs. What do niggas see in him? Pause. I just think for one, he can he has a he has a very, very creative pen. I will say that. Um pens don't that, win the battles. I mean, but he could perform just with Lou Castro also. Uh, right, they come from the same. Lou and drugs, who's a better performer? I mean, if you want to talk about just like him doing different like pitching in his voice with Lou Castro, I mean, yeah, that's cool. But I mean, if you talk about movement on the stage, they both can do that. Bro, I just remember Lou shaking that room against Arsenal. I mean, they were. Have Jokes done that? Say something else. Jokes had a fire battle with Arsenal. Has he shaken a room as big as Lou has? I'm sorry, their battle wasn't in that room. <laughs> That's important. It's still on URL. It's important in performance. If you can go mm. in a small, if you can shake a small room, and you then tell, go you should have told Smack. You should have told Smack to have it on a big stage. Fam, I know Lou is on a skid right now, but we're not gonna disrespect. I didn't disrespect. I'm just saying, just don't count out drugs like that. He lost to a girl, right? In tournament. And he so did so did New Jersey twerk, and so did Sue Surf. Well, what was that supposed to mean? <laughs> twerk choked. What else is new? Surf wasn't in the tournament, and he kind of just gave the battle up. Drugs wrapped his heart. No, no, drugs beat Yoshi. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. He did beat Yoshi. So I'll give I'm him that. that battle. Oh, you talking about that one? That was that was Jesus. I think yo, I, this could potentially be battle uh, body bag of the night for me. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Why are you shaking your head? Here we go. Here we go. We're going to pull out. 
like, yo, what's up with y'all niggas, B? Like, chill. Like, <laughs> Say tight right now. Yeah, like, please. Yeah, <laughs> I told y'all niggas I was cool from the hipster. The weekend at the end of that, Jory. You just got it. You you have it all. You got it. You have, you it, have all. it all, Chief. You got it. You got it all, Jeez. You have it all, Chief. For real. But no, uh, me, I'm going to go Luke Castro 2 1, but I think it's going to be a very, very good battle, though. We ain't see drugs in a minute since that tournament. And anytime he comes back like that, he's always have a chip on his shoulder. And you will usually get good performances from him, like with that. So I'm looking out for it to be a good battle. Uh, hopefully we don't get no like weird ass personals though. I'm gonna keep it tall with you. I'm not. We that should we be don't annoying. Through Goonie battles though. Really? I'm just saying. I hope. I hope. I hope. They fuck with each other heavy. Like I don't. Right. Think. So hopefully it's just up there. Niggas are just you know what I'm saying. Showing up and you know what I'm saying elevating each other. I'm not saying like that, but like elevate each other's performance. So who you got? Chilla. Uh, uh, this nigga said Chilla. Chilla. <laughs> anyway, I'm an underdog person. Swave and Anderson Burr. <laughs> now, for those of you that aren't familiar <laughs> with the white boy Anderson Burrs, he's the dude that came out in the Mike P in the T top battle and started barking at Mike P. It was like a mirror match. T top promoting white on white crime. What I like to see. That's what, yeah. Crackers going to crack on each other. Let's get it going. Shit, that's like the communities. That's a move. Manipulate the community. Where is brother <laughs> Caron? Where is brother Caron? Ooh, <laughs> we gonna get to him later too. Oh, <laughs> I think, fam. I think Sway gonna body son. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. If he do, if he do or don't, I don't give a fuck. This dude, Anderson Burrs, whatever his last name is, his promos have been hilarious. Dog. He on caffeine. He getting a <laughs> caffeine look as a rookie. Son, the nigga, the nigga did the skit saying everybody said me and Sway look just alike. It really went in with the shit though, bro. Everyone like, says me and Swave look just alike, but I mean, I don't like that know. shit, be crying, bro. Because the really just all the Photoshop he did with the shit, like had me crying. Niggas was at the T top battle. They was like Swave, Swave. <laughs> he is creative. He, he's creative, man. But Swave is a gatekeeper. You know, Swave is a gatekeeper. Oh, this is man. a gatekeeper battle. But dude, you don't understand what he's doing. He's trying to strip all of the like gangster shit that the niggas say to him. He's trying to strip all of that shit. And it's like, he's a like if you ain't funny, if you're he's not funny this battle, you're not gonna win. He That's pretty bring. much what Anderson is. He's he's putting he put in that corner, putting putting um uh, Swave into that corner where it's like pretty much if you're not funny and as entertaining as me, you're going to lose. I don't but people gonna remember these laughs more than them guns. That's good for a round or two. That depends how consistent you are. It depends how funny you are. Give me three rounds of jokes? I don't know, bro. My nigga, what you gonna do if you're laughing? Swave can neutralize that. We have to see. This gonna be another 3-0. Not as bad as I think Lou and Drugs will be, but it'll be a 3-0. No funny. What's the last what's the last roadblock that Swave was to? Who was the last person he was a roadblock to? Oh fuck. Um, in a way, swamp. That was a that was a good battle. Yeah, in was a way. That, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking, or was that no? That was Ryder. He battled. That's another one. That wasn't a roadblock battle. The swamp one. If you want to go before that, I'd say I'll be honest. Young Cannon. I wasn't trying to go before. I was trying to give me more recent. Swamp. Mm. I say that's more Casey, but he could have gotten prep out of here too, man. They robbed my boy. Yeah, that was fucked up. But I don't know. I don't see Sway as that like roadblock like that no more. I think sure. Remember they tried to world. remember they tried to do that with with they tried to do that with um B dot didn't work. B dot beat him. Yeah, he beat him on our yeah, beat. like kind of convincingly. Like Shook took that role as gatekeeper from Sway. Respectfully, he took that role from him because he did that with real name Brandon. You know, well, he wants to battle these guys though. Like he'd be wanting to actively battle these people though. 
Like so, uh, that's why I fuck with Swerve. I mean, so that's Swerve. I was kind of bump up with it. <laughs> Nigga so, said Swerve on Swave and um Shook. Like these guys actively be wanting to battle these like guys to put these guys on. They see the mirror match and type shit like that. So uh but this is definitely look like this is a, a challenge for Swave where it's like, all right, you are real throwing some random shit at me again. Let me just show and prove. Like, remember they did that to him when they threw the saga at him. They were like, oh, yeah. so I, all right, worry, say less. And they had a good ass battle in Pittsburgh. I remember that shit. I'm um, mad that they're gonna end up opening the show up. That's cool though. I'm not yeah. mad. With a dude, with a dude like Anderson, I'm not mad with that. Like, that's a guy that you can be able to get the energy rally with. You know what I'm saying? You get the energy up with that, and it kind of keeps you like not too too like overwhelmed that you can be able to like probably go JC Sharon next. You know what I'm saying? And then you can get yeah. all the bars and you know what I'm saying. That would be a nice sequence if they do that. Get the two white boys out the gate early? Yes. Look at you. Manipulate the community. Manipulate the community. (laughs) Manipulate the community, man. Why the fuck not? You know what I'm saying? This is starting early, too, man. Shout out Smack, 6 p.m., which means it starts at 7.30. Shout out to him. Nigga, that mean it ends at like eleven. Basically, I'm listen, man. I'm I'm here. We 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 here. Out there like, I'm just glad I ain't like. It's, at least we don't have to be like the niggas. Just have to speed out there seven in the fucking morning to stand in the line. Yo, you remember that? Like, we've been to events, so we know about that standing yeah, in the line. Fam, I did that shit one time. I'm never doing that shit again. Now, I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, getting in where I fit in. And then, you know what I'm saying, we just politicking in the line and shit, whoop de whoop But, because that's just from the sneaker era and shit, like, I'm, I'm cool with that. But niggas getting there 7 in the morning, though, bro. Yeah. And don't get in there till 3. You, I can't, I couldn't even sit down. Nigga, I paid for Nigga, VIP. Sat, stood there for a whole motherfucking shift. No lunch. I'm talking break. about in the event. I was like, on top of the hours you about to be in there. I paid for VIP. I'm thinking I'm going to sit down. Motherfucker came and like, no, 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 no. You can't sit there. That's for the battlers. Like, nigga, I'd, what? Be su- I'd be highly surprised if you didn't find a nigga taking a bump in the line. Man, this I'd is be K- highly surprised. This was a KOTD event ran by the white folk. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like I said, man. Um, let's get to the next battle. We got. Uh, oh no! Oh, we know. We no. said what we got. <laughs> we just talked about the battle. Um, event, event I'm over. gonna go. I'm, I'm going Anderson. I'm gonna go Anderson Burns two one. Swave Suave Seva two three zero. Nah, two one. I'll be restore modest. Order two one. Restore order. Shout restore out. Order. IP. Don't kill me. Shout out. IP Wag Bar of the week is my shit. But I think it's gonna. I think. I think Anderson Burns, man. I think he. I think he out there to show this shit is what is turning into the real WWE. If, if you know what I'm saying? Brave. If battle rap be inter- B R E man, battle rap entertainment, B. Fam, if he beats Sway, that's gonna be crazy, dog. Battle rap entertainment. That's where we at, man. The B R E. It's not the B R C no more. It's the B R E. N O R E. Tell you, man. The battle rap entertainment. Um, next on the docket, man. You been seeing Surf Wildin in 2022 so far? I see him. I see him politicking. That's what you call it. I see it just speaking. I see it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit going on. Well, let's start off with the first thing. Him and my verse. Um, so- oh, wait, wait, wait. That was the end of the card? Yeah, yeah. that was the end of the card. Oh, yeah, that card weak. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, come on, man. Oh, man. That's gonna live up to the hype. I'm telling you. By the end of the by the end of the event tomorrow, I'm gonna. Bro, be I feel like you, you only told me like three battles. I feel like we only talked about like three battles, but because anyway. most of them are kind of throwaways. What was the other ones? It was JC. It was Danny Myers and um, oh. Danny Myers and Tay Rock. JC versus Sharon Chilla Jones squared. Drugs and Lou, and then Swave and Anderson Birds. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a weak ass. Drugs and yeah, back, yeah, 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 let's get to the surf shit. Because I so see the first thing drown this shit out. The first thing he did was um so Prestavia, shout out Prestavia out of Brooklyn, a uh, Christian battle rapper, female Christian battle rapper. She's actually pretty nice too. Um, joined gun titles. So originally, I guess something something happened. Long story less long. 
Myverse got into them Twitter spaces and Surf was there and it was all some like, oh, well, what have you done? Basically, basically, what have you done have for, you me done lately? for me lately? He got in. He got into my verse. I was jealous. I'm trying to get into my verse too, right? So, I mean, respect. Um. So, long story short, you know, Surf basically said, you know, you ain't top tier. Stop talking like you top tier, like. And Jazz was supporting, you know, he, she was like, yeah, he right. You not top 10. Which kind of convinced her to come outside for that. Um, There's a card, that retribution card. She's battling. Who's she battling? She battling. Um, we ain't speaking speak of nothing about the actual Midnight Madness shit. I'll be honest, bro. I'm not. See, not, see, don't see, see, don't listen to this nigga. He talking about some the weak shit. This shit that it caught all stems from Cheddar, bro. Cheddar versus my verse. Man, you fuck about that shit. Well, that's the beginning. That's when that's before the spaces. This is that was when it was Island Gang versus Gun Titles. Island Gang. That was the. That was the crux. The, of it all. So, yeah, that was. So, lo and behold, apparently, like I said, they had. Idea, pretty much make bringing it back to the streets, to the streets. I still don't know how these battles are gonna go, but pretty much, like I said, that idea, pretty much bringing the shit back to the streets. Pretty much, uh, people putting up bets for battles and side bets also. You know, saying five thousand for none, none, and I put up five thousand from fucking JC to save for that battle per se. It's smart, and. People put up side bets and you know say, yo, yo, like just like at a gambling spot, at a basketball game, any of that nature. You know what I'm saying? It has an opportunity for people to, you know what I'm saying, bet on people that you won't probably see on URL or or you probably won't see on KOTD. You know what I'm saying? You could have Hitman Holla have him himself, himself, Frack, A Ward, Ill Will, or and motherfucking Mac Myron, you know what I'm saying? And you could have Surf have his crew and all of that nature. And they all go. Remember, if you think of like we was talking about in the chat, if you think of RBE's starting five, that's exactly what of, they did, right? But instead of that, it's not. It's somebody sponsoring the teams. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just the team; it's the people who have the captains of those teams. You know what I'm saying? So I can have my guy, my my squad versus your squad shit. They so be like, you know what versus what the organic. Yeah. Same shit. Same yeah. shit. Yeah, but they're not the they're not the organizers. They're not the they're not the staff. You know what I'm saying? They're just rappers. That's why I say it's a more low level type thing. If you think of more like if we have like Fat Joe's basketball team versus motherfucking Jay's what Jay's basketball team. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I got my five guys from the city that I fuck with, and I got my five guys from the city that I fuck with. I'm mad that never happened. But you see what I'm saying, though, right? I see it. And I think that's more so the lines where they're doing with Midnight Madness in the setup of it. Now, that's just the, you know what I'm saying, foundation of what they're saying this is going to be. Now, everything else from there, the setup of the teams and all of that such, that has all been, you know what I'm saying, brought up and through these motherfucking space, Twitter spaces Bro, that some of these have literally teams. been going on. But these just have literally been going on for like 24 hours at at a time sometimes because they literally will have one well, at one point is Jack Boy hosting and then it's Gigi hosting and the Surf hosting and it's both hosting or Bill Collector hosting. You know what I'm saying? And then you have another but you got you know what I'm saying Verb and his people or some shit. Yeah, like that. yo, spaces it's, was it's lit for a week, people. right? And a lot of through a lot of these Twitter spaces, we have got a lot of storylines and drama and shout out to you know what I'm saying let's talk battle rap who has been on the pulse at these fucking stories man for real for real france what up where, you know what i'm saying even to the point where people are starting making memes out of them but anyways we got the my verse situation from there where we had um the whole I mean the Yoshi situation, which was I didn't like. I mean I, that shit was uh, cringy for me. Yeah, um, I gave my my two cents on that. Like you wilding with that one, sir. You wilding with that one. Now he was wilding, but once again, that's if he's comfortable in his ways. You gotta expect you gotta expect the people you're dealing with to deal how they deal with shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you're dealing with it, a, a wild nigga, expect him to do some wild shit. Disappointed, but not surprised. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of these teams, bro, fire. Fire teams. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm with all of this shit. I'm just waiting to see execution. 
Like, how are they going to do it? Like, how are they going to, like, put this no, together? No, I just want to see. I just want to do the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, w- I'm with all the talk. Y'all saying y'all got the bread, do all this. Do, let's, let's get it popping. I don't want At this audio point, battles, dog. No, I don't. It's not audio battles. I hope it ain't. Mm-mm. If Fam, all comes Lexus up to be some motherfucking audio battles, I would throw up. Let me see. Surf. Surf got NH. He brought NH outside. I ain't heard that name in a minute. Fam, he brought again? NH outside, dog. Who's that again? I ain't heard that name in a minute. My Philly, Philly, name. Philly, Philly legend and battle rap. He battled Rex when they was kids. Not kids, but it was like teenagers. It's on YouTube. I think I've probably seen this battle. My favorite team so far, though, that lifelike gang. Suge's team. So it's Suge. Suge. Uh, wait, hold on. It's Suge. Oh, James Cohen, uh, Sharon. I remember NH. Bonnie, Danny, Nun Nun, and our man, Old Fucking Red. He back. Wait, wait, bring that squad back again. We got J400, C3, Sharon, 260Z, Bonnie Godiva, Old Red, Nun Nun, Danny Myers. Shotgun Shook is the captain. Some hitters on there, but it's some people Bro. that can get that, they can make that ship a like sink very quickly. Another crazy team is the landslide team, Calico's team. It's Calico, both QPs, Quantum and Clean, Bankhead, Jack Boy Main, um, and First Lady, Swamp, and Mac. No ill will. I mean, it's more of a putting on thing. So I would I would like I like the guys that he put on. These are people that need these opportunities. Will Will doesn't uh, need this. A favorite? Will can have his own team. More than likely, yeah, he could have a Yak Town team, for all we know. Um, the Death Coast team, which is the Lush One team. We have Disaster, Pass, Saint, Fate, Real Deal, Frack, J Breed, and Cash Money. Say that one more time. I heard Frack, I heard Diz, Frack, and I heard Pass. That was scary Frack, enough. Frack disaster, pass Saint, real deal. Saint and Saint and Frack on the same squad, and disaster and real deal. So they have the the, the past. And I'm, they have I the I'm, I'm, I'm being a, I'm being a new school mark right now, so just just bear with me. But Frack and Saint are two totally polar opposite guys, but both are equally fire. Nuts, bro! Like that that team is. Uh, the Chiraquis, which were the butt of the jokes earlier. That's Big T's team. Uh, you got Big T, uh, both cannons, Trufo, Gage. I knew he was going to have Gage. You better have Back outside, we have Prince Lord, Pooh Bear, and Heavy Have. A beatable team, but I like it. Top heavy, if you ask me. Top heavy team. Not, not a fat mm. joke. Not a fat joke. I mean, I like the talent, but I think it's some talent on other squads. Like, Saint could probably fuck Gage up. I think the weakest team is Bill Collector's team. Bill, Billiano, we fuck with Billiano on here, but he has the no. weakest team. What's, what's the squad? Um, He's got, uh, it's called the Cheat Code is the name of the team. Uh, Sheet Happens, Dot, Royalty, J2, Cuban, Dev the Demon, Excel, and Bandit Montana. Bandit Montana. It ain't it ain't it for me, dog. Damn, that ain't that Excel just always gets the shit in those sticks, man. Like I don't I don't like it either. I bet that nigga was like, why the fuck I can't be on motherfucking surf team or some shit? Like the rest of surf's team besides NH is uh Chess Perstavia, New Jersey Twerk, who's on two teams. Weird. Um who else? Uh Kid Slade, shout out Kid Slade, CT, Real Sick, Elijah Straight, and Monty, Manny, Monty. I don't know. I've been hearing good things about Elijah Street. They said he's chilling with Rum Nitty's pen. Mm, I got to check him out now. Another team that was just announced, <laughs> Hitman Holler's ball game team. New Jersey Twerk. That's the second team he's on. Hitman, John John, Clips, A-Ward, Vixen, and who's the last person? It's because they're video, so they – Ace Amin. That is probably the most well-rounded team I've heard you say. Really? Say those names one more time. It's a little top heavy. Say that name. Say those names one more time. Hitman, John, John, Charlie, 
Award Vixen, Ace Twerk, top heavy, and you have a twerk that's on two teams. Is that trustworthy? Take away, take away know. twerk, take away twerk. You got vets, you got newcomers, you got guys who are flourishing that's coming into their prime. <coughs> Excuse me. I think that was a really nice team right there. There's uh oh a uh, god tier alliance team. We're, I guess we're gonna run through the oh, <laughs> that's, run through that's, uh, that's 40 in them, right? That's 40 Chilla, Shayna, Shuni. Um, who else? Uh, Piranha, Eliza Versa, Gwitty, Benji Lolo. Shout out Benji Lolo and Authentic. Bless their hearts. I hope they have some good, good bless training. their hearts. But, um, what's the next team? Gutter City, which might be one of the best teams on here. Uh, that's obviously easy to block captain's team. We got Fonz, Loso, Mike P, Reed Dollars, Rosenberg, Frozenberg. Yeah. I like, ooh, I like that. So Cicero, Cheddar, and AR 15, 8R, 8R, AR 16, whatever his joint is. 8R 14. Must be his little brother. You stupid. But, uh, I like that team too. Once again, this all shit sound good, man. It sound like, good. But sound all good. they gotta do, well, all the first person they gotta do is just, just set up the event, man. Give us a preview, something, a battle, or something, man, that can ease the people's mind, or at least me, or make sure this ain't all talk. Facts, man. And, and we don't even know who's behind this. Right. I think y'all got the people's ears now. Go get to work. Damn, man. So harsh. Go get to work. No, it's so hard. Because let's keep it tall, bro. Like the, 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 they've been on these spaces for weeks now. Like talking right, a lot of nuts. We got the hype. The hype is here. People want to see the shit. Like let's start. You know what I'm saying? Let's pull back on them shit now. Yeah, just start going to work and start building some shit up. Not saying that they it, that they aren't now, but I just seen a lot of talking still. You know I think but maybe first... that's but maybe but maybe that's just a lot of the hype that's. You know what I'm saying? Stilled right now, too. The first card is a, is apparently the 28th. Uh, that's the one that has Prestavia and Yoshi, I'm mad, Big T, Lou. I'm mad because that's what we could lose. That nigga surfs told Briz January 28th, and Briz said nothing. That's a name that I'm surprised I haven't seen announced yet. Because <laughs> he, he didn't say nothing after after Surf said January 28th, January 28th, January 28th. Briz is good Briz enough to have his own team. Else. That's I cool, heard but Briz, Surf, wanted, Surf wanted that smoke, and Briz was just talking about everything else but that. Briz has turned down a Mook battle, a Hitman battle, a Geechee battle, and now a Surf battle. And niggas say that Briz is trash. Look at all the top tiers coming for him. Because niggas want that return smoke. Who would you want to put Briz against in a return battle? Get your surf. Uh, those are the ones I want to see. And then after, he, him, then after him versus Jack Boy. I think him and Hitman would be crazy. That too. Him and That's Hitman. I, I really want to see him versus Jack Boy also. I just or think of that face. Night wing. Wait, him and Jack Boy? Why him and Jack Boy? I don't know. I just think those this, those are those really crazy unorthodox ass styles would just make a wild ass battle. I think it's Jack something I've wanted fire. since it's a battle I've wanted since I've seen Jack Boy come to the URL. Jack would have a fire flip on that machete. That machete shit, he would have a fire flip for that. But anyways, though. Yeah, January 28th, though. January 28th, I'm that's the first one. I'm interested. I mean, hopefully. Yo, please, you know what I'm saying? This shit turn up. I'm, I'm really, I'm ready for a new spark in battle rap, man. It's 2022. Let's Word, get some new man. waves going, man. Get some people paid. Get some eyes and views on people. Hopefully, this shit go straight to YouTube so people don't have to, you know what I'm saying, clamor to, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Because apparently, Beasley has a, um, a stake in this thing, too. So, hopefully, yeah. Go to Norbs at All Podcasts. But I'm not sure how much of it is true that Averb exposed about the inner workings of this whole midnight mass and this thing so you got to go check out that i mean norbs has been covering this stuff pretty well too <laughs> shout out, um shout out to him and his um norbs at all podcast for sure you want to um, you want to touch on sports real quick show let's, dude brother where my pick at let me let me get this out the way man look Kyrie. To, to sit out half the season 
and only come with 22. Now, what? Come yeah, on, bro. Yeah, Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to show him love. I'm showing him All love. Right. Yeah. All right. Only I'm come out with 22 in plain. You start calling you Carl Bayless when you do this shit. <laughs> to, the, to the untrained eye, it looks bad. But when you watch the actual game Pickle and hair. see what he did in that fourth quarter and realize that most of them 22 points came in the fourth quarter, you got to applaud this nigga. You got to salute this nigga. Got to salute this nigga. Shit. Okay, throw on that activator then. Yeah. Let your soul shine through. Just let it shine through, y'all. With Camille Rose, honey, do. I think I think real shit though. I I don't think he changes anything about the Nets. The Nets were good without him. My bad, y'all. I'm listening, but I just got to pick my hair out. My shit is, like, crazy. Like, they were good without him, but the thing is, Boogeyman this season for the Nets is clearly the Chicago Bulls. I think I think him coming back, though, like, it, with that type of it, – it definitely was a touch of show. Like, yo, I can come back and still provide whenever. You know what I'm saying? Because coming back even with 22, when – you know what I'm saying? You ain't play all year. But it's year. how he got it. It's how he got that 22 that's impressive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he was dog. He was a dog. Mm-hmm. As he always, that's how he always is, though. He, he, he nigga came back with a chip on his shoulder. Let's keep it tall. That's a fact. How you feel about Clay coming shoulder. back Sunday? Who? Clay. I'm interested. I'm ready to see the NBA back, like in this, in his in his highest form right now. I want to see that job back. We got Kyrie back to an extent. You know what I'm saying? Wait for um Rose to get back from his injury. Did he come back yet from his injury? Nigga, we might send Rose packing. What yo, that'll be some lame shit if y'all do that. Yeah, quickly. See, this one fuck with Oh, me. and speaking Never of Never mind. Which, See, y'all just lost y'all just lost y'all just lost a mild fan right there. Speaking of which, I know you seen it last night. I know you seen it. I know you seen that back off the backboard buzzer beater. Man, look, that game last night. I want to remind y'all the Celtics have lost seven in a row on the road with the game last night. If Tate, if we go to overtime, I swear to God we were gonna lose in overtime. RJ Barrett, for all the shit I talked about him when he got drafted, has make he's he's made me a believer. The last two years he's made me a believer. You are so fucking fickle. You electrify I could have swear y'all was just saying this nigga was on some fuck shit. Cause he wasn't Zion or Ja. But it just took some time. Don't even get me started on Zion. No, no, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to no, shout out to the Knicks, man. That was a dope, a dope ending to that game, man. Especially against a, a really great Boston team like that. And Jared, and I'm um, not Jared, uh, RJ Barrett doing that shit, shot, shooting that shot right in motherfucking uh, Jason Tatum face. You know them niggas went to uh, what is the it? Picture was ill. Club? Oh the hell yeah! You know them niggas went to um, not Club Lust, Club Lust clothes. What's the other one? Starless. You know the niggas went to Starless right after. Mm. Let me get this shit out. But nah, son, I thought it was dope shit, man. The NBA is getting back to its form, man. By yeah. All Star, hopefully, knock on wood, by All Star weekend. You know what I'm saying? Well, not the NFL. Everybody's over. I'm just saying. I'm just hoping everybody is well and healthy. We can start seeing some of these NBA teams in their raw form. You feel me? Speaking of the form. NFL, man, defend your boy. All Ooh. right, defend your man's A B. Hey, my man's that's that's fast, man. You're that's on your team. That's, that's fast, man. Right. My team was a, used to be my on team your, your team. Patriots. My team is the Patriots. Your man's was throwing him touchdowns. He was. That's because Brady's the goat. He could throw passes to anybody. Shit, he, threw a pass to a nigga was, he threw a pass to a nigga who was a track star. Never even played college. But I digress. Continue with your story. For the people that don't know, this nigga's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and Tony O'Brown this past Sunday, um, I think there, he had a conversation with um, with Mike Evans on the sideline. And after that, he kind of just took his shit off and he just ran out. He like, he like a streaker. He took his he took his, his jersey off and just ran out. Was doing this shit, doing the Ronald Reagan. And then after the game, you see him waiting for the Uber. I don't know how Make that you know, to go to the next game to go to the next game. Look, fam. And then it comes out after that. Apparently, allegedly, shout out Joe. Allegedly, the coaches wanted him to play injured. 
Now, the Buccaneers organization has already come out and debunked that. Um, they uh, AB released some text between him and the coach the other day. He got cut officially today. Um, throwing your man's Brady under the bus today, too. As he probably would do that. And it's crazy the nigga Brady went to bat for him to come for the, come to the team. But that's what I'm saying. But he makes a good point though. He brought up a point. He said, "Why does Gronk not get a prove it deal?" And I do. And get Gronk is Brady's man. man's. A prove, a prove it, it deal. deal. Prove it deal is we're gonna give you it's this because I have million. four rings. What the fuck you mean? Prove what? Gronk was coming out of retirement. I ha- and the nigga, I went to retirement. He wasn't forced into retirement. I'm not saying I, he wasn't forced into retirement, my nigga. He retired on his own. I know merit. you have a little bias because that's your man's Gronk. Did he not retire on his own merit? No, his brain, his CTE told him that shit. CT. <laughs> yeah, that CT came back and got a ring. Look, man, where where do you so Brady is my MVP? I have been supporting Brady all year. As you should. I'm not a Brady hater no more. As I see the light. Never been. He's my That's MVP it. this year. I know niggas want to say Rogers. Uh, what's old boy from Indianapolis, the running back? Get that anti masker out of here. It's Brady. Brady leads the league in all passing. He he's 55. How old is he? 67. We retire at Rogers next, man. We go, we're gonna retire and run this season, man. Listen, man. We did it last season. We retired Breeze. We retired we retired this nigga Rogers this season. You know what I'm saying? It's up. The, it's that up. the Buccaneers are a favorite to win as long as Satan is playing quarterback. He's still playing quarterback. Nah, he's just when you throw that with touchdowns, it's hot as Satan. The stats is hot as Satan. No, that Him, he Satan. plays like he plays angelic. But he got a, he might, yo. They're both clinch playoff bursts. We might see mm-hmm. it this year. What? Brady versus Belichick? Mm-hmm. Man, look. Because you know who's going <coughs> to. Well, my Eagles made it. <laughs> look at him look up. Look at him oh. look up. <laughs> Y'all got to play each other. Y'all got to play each other first round. Mm-hmm. You know we No, nah, no, nah, we in the wild card. Yeah, y'all got to play each other. Well, they got bumped into the wild card? Yeah. The, they the, the, they're not the Ravens the one, had to lose two. or something like that, right? They're not the number one seed. As of right now, the Patriots play the Bills in the in the playoffs. Let me check that shit. Let me see. I and I cannot me. wait for y'all shit talk because that's going to be epic. We about to smoke these niggas, Kyle. We're putting these niggas back in a pack. Nigga, you already seen how many packs I was smoking last year. You want to be in one? Nigga. No, we facing the Jets. No, Sue, in the playoffs, your your oh. potential playoff matchup would be oh, the New England right. Patriots. Let's see. Now, y'all would have to play them in Buffalo. 2021 NFL playoff picture. So, I ain't, yeah, I ain't we all in Buffalo. We, got, we look I like we have, let me see. Clinch the up. Let's see. If I lay my cards. Oh, Listen, man. I read this shit. I, I, I'm trusting Brady over Josh Allen any day and twice on Sundays. I ain't gonna lie. I have. Like, I'm not going to hold you, man. Josh Allen is not as good as y'all say he is. He good. But, man, my man, you already know. You already know I'm rolling, man. It's the Mac Militant around these pieces. Don't man. give him my name. It's the Mac Militant. Come on and bring it on. <laughs> he probably don't even know who Teddy Long was. He probably wasn't even born when Teddy Long was the GM. Nah, son, my boy is up. Damn, I don't got no. Yeah, they don't really. Um, My Eagles clinched the playoff berth. We got to play the Rams if the playoff started today. It would not make me happier if we're the team that eliminates the motherfuckers. Everybody a Rams fan now. Everybody on that bandwagon because they want to see Matt Stafford do good. Nah, we're going to end that. Yes, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just ready. I'm just ready for these playoffs, man. I'm ready to see my boys get busy. Real talk, sir. You see um, uh, Kanye? You see Kanye? Uh, who he rolling with now? Mm-mm. He got old girl from Uncut Gems now. He, he fucking with that. And boy, I heard that was staged though. Yeah. Oh no, fam, she got a flotation device on there. 
Hey, Marquetta, what up? What up? Happy New Come Year, too, bro. Happy Labor's Day. I don't know any good days. I don't know. Happy Nigga, 7th Ty of January knocking down Day. Julia Fox. It's my birthday Sunday. No, my, my birthday is Tuesday. My God baby birthday is Sunday. I wish I'd be able to give you the birthday hits. Listen, man. Uh, the only hits I'm going to get on my birthday. Never mind. So, so um, yeah, so... Bro, what was her name? Shorty and the, yeah, I heard that was staged just to make Kim all well, nah. Don't 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 spoil my fun. <laughs> Why? Because I mean, if Kanye, I, I'm not mad at Kanye getting lit. I didn't know I mean, Kanye he was, was a merch up. He was lit. He was, bro. He been went on and got himself a white girl. He's. I didn't know he was a milk merchant. And when he get on, he leave your ass for a white girl. What you want the taste? What about the ass? I mean, Sue, you seen the work? She oh. do got the ass. That's the thing, cause he wants these white women. Never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you in your bag? You in your bag? Go ahead. He wants these white women's to be shaped like the black women's. He lusts for. Kim want white. She's Armenian. I rest my case. Our whitey in. Was Amber Our white? Man. Yes. Who was the girl, um, the young lady that he was with before Amber? She was cute too. Alexis Pfeiffer. And she was black. Beautiful girl. What happened? Rest to in her? peace. Oh. They broke up. Called an engagement. Oh, man. Hmm. That was such a damn gave us gave us eight ways of heartbreak. About, I think the flashing lights was about they break up. Oh my god! See, man, this is why see, I didn't know. Now I mean, like rest in peace to her. I was saying rest in peace to that relationship. Oh, I thought she damn nigga, you trying to kill her? We oh, we, we already was, killed Ali Shaheed. I was a killer. I was just saying rest in peace to that relationship because that was a that was the end of the Kanye that we knew. You don't think Kim is doing this shit with Pete Davidson the same way that Kanye is doing this shit with Julia Fox? I mean, Julia no. Fox already did something with Pete Davidson. Oh, they already smashed? Yeah, like last Nasty night on my Twitter, my Twitter <laughs> retweet frenzy. Messy Sue. She, hold on, let me see. If, let me make sure what's going Ooh, that's Jordan Grace. Ooh. I don't know, man. I, I don't really be too entwined. Like, like, let Kanye do him, man. They are having a fun time with himself at the fucking New Year's New Year's parties and on these streets, man. Let him do him, man. Like, but don't be out here trying to, you know, what I'm saying, put yourself in a facade that you don't really want to be in. He's I going to break up, dog. Unless you tie Conti, you know I'm saying, don't don't just be putting yourself in spaces you really don't want to be in just to be masking some pain. He's he's masking a lot of pain. Unless dog. you Ty Conti and Sammy Guevara. What y'all think about that? The way I they went about them. I think it's Nasty. fucked up. I think it's really fucked up. No, get your shit, I don't get your care door. about it. Like I, I don't care about it enough, but it's like it's fucked up that you he don't care Yo, this thing, you, try it. you heard me this thing said it's fucked up. It's fucked it up. Is. You don't it care is. about it. No. Really it care. is. Because Dude, if you him and old girl person, broke up already, that was getting divorced or getting your engagement called off, you'd be like, "Yo, like, what the fuck? Chill." And then, oh my god, she deleted her Twitter, Instagram, and shit like that because people were saying shit like, "You deserve it, nigga." They was sending her death threats. Yo, could we have a real conversation about wrestling fans? Sure. Like, where? Okay, so. Who was it that put it in the group chat? And I was like, oh, they give wrestling fans like us a bad names. I think it was referring to that, how they were sending her death threats. Like, where does that come from? Um, Super standard. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird ass motherfuckers that just always been in the cuts, man. They just have internet access. Like, it's everywhere. We, we know they wrote that shit from their mama basement. We know that. Super standard. It's like you can't, like, I don't know, but it's just me that's a whole messy ass situation. And that's like I'm not I'm mad at Sammy. Know. I'm not mad at Sammy. He upgraded if you ask me. That's cool enough. But that's like the said, thing. You, like, who are we to judge? Only thing I'm judging is that you brought that girl on national light on national TV, and then the fact that you pretty much 
like mm. kept the whole you brought her you you did it on national like tv but you wanted to keep it under wraps until people pretty much forced you into into informing the people what's going on because the people are seeing what's going on because he like like i forgot who was saying joe was saying like shorty his girl his girl pam was on the shit all the time and mm-hmm. he just didn't see her no more you know what i'm saying and then not say like enter take you know what i'm saying but it was like motherfuckers ain't really stupid they could peep you know what i'm saying energy yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. So people are gonna call call you out on that shit. Like what happened? Apparently, Tay Conti's they she's been in the picture since November. Apparently, yeah, yeah. but it's it's just fucked up. It's a fucked up situation, and I ain't mad at him. I don't on. not mad at them being together. Like go with who you love, but at the same time, like don't be putting it out there, and then be pro, be pro, beware of the fucking repercussions of it. You it's not that. It's just, just don't don't, don't, play, don't try to play the fans. Don't play the he, fans. He, he shouldn't wear exactly, heat. Exactly, but don't you know what type of community you're in? You're at the forefront of one of the most toxic communities. I mean, rest of the community in general could be toxic. I don't want to put yeah, it on Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, even you being at AEW right now and the temperature there is not the best right now, but you know. Well, I mean, let's get and if a motherfucker, if a motherfucker tell you if a motherfucker say like, "Yo, I think I think this guy is black," you like, "Nah, bro, it ain't, it ain't, it's not, it's not." Sky black. And then lo and behold, at the beginning of twenty two, this nigga got a picture with the sky saying the fucking this the sky is black. You know what I'm saying? And now he finally wanted to believe this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, after all the denial. Yeah, I ended up just saying like, "Oh, we are together," which is pretty much like the fans is like, "But we knew that. Why did y'all go? Up? Why did y'all do all this extra shit then? Other than right. just coming out with the shit? If you're gonna be up front and all public with putting trying to marry this girl on TV, why can't you be public about you know what I'm saying? Anything? He doing else? dirt. He doing dirt. Right. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be, don't be forced. Like, to, don't be forced into white, statements. Or... People no, came at speak, Bray don't White speak, and we don't speak on Judge. We don't. We don't. We don't. I don't want to speak on that. Speaking of uh, AEW, man, uh, Jade Cargill, new TBS champion, pandering, pan, pandering. She was gonna be champion regardless, brother. She's gonna be champion regardless, but now I mean, it looks away after the promo. I I think we it does that after that it does, but that's just a that's just the corner that Tony put himself in. But neither here nor there, she was gonna win that title regardless. She looked a little green still. And that oh, she only had one. She had that that fight, that the ending um joint, but it's because she couldn't special? get to the top of it. Yeah, she just couldn't get to the top rope, and you know how tall she is. I like her. Kind of fucked it. Yeah, her specials fired. Yeah, but other than that, it was a solid match. Ruby made her look really good in that match. It was it was solid, man. It wasn't like no like oh my god match of the year type shit, but it was a solid match no, to nah. make this woman look like a, a viable champion. What'd you think about uh Hangman Danny Hangman Danielson too? More brutal. More brutal seen that, than the first one. that picture of Daniel Bryan after the match? Jesus Christ. Uh, I, seen, I seen it. I remember I was, I was telling, like, I seen the gash on Hangman's page, Hangman page forehead during the match. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Them boys was like, them boys was fucked up, man. But it was a good match, man. It was a little bit more, um, if I say, more equally balanced than the first one. Cause I thought Bryan was, like, going crazy in the first one. It was a little bit more in his favor, but in I like the first one a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But the neither first one, there, though. Do you like the first one because of it ending in a draw? Not the draw. It just I feel it's a little bit more um better match, like a little bigger uphill battle for um Hangman, like that last moment him trying to close it out and he just didn't have that last, he didn't have that moment, but neither here nor there. This match was just as good, but I mean... I just don't remember it as much. Maybe the draw at the end kind of gotcha. that. Yeah. But neither here nor there. The brutality of it is what I really remember though. Like it was way more hard hitting. Like you could feel that you could feel the 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 hatred that they had for each other in the match. You know what I'm saying? Just the callback of hangman bashing, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Brian Brian Danielson's face into the steel post this time was just, you know what I'm saying, from the first time, you know, I think if not the same match, no, from the first match. You know the, the, the draw. Yeah, and he did that to him and had him leaking. 
So I thought that was a good callback, and they both ended up, you know what I'm saying, getting fucked up in this joint. So like I said, really good match, man. Really, really good match. Um, Sue, what's your thoughts on the match? Honestly, man, I think oh, so they oh, should. My bad, my bad, oh, my, bad my bad. My part of me. I want to make sure you get a shit. Fix your face, ugly ass nigga. Why well, you got the? Why well, you got the easy to block captain face? You look some fiery Shay Davis looking ass nigga. Shay Davis, my gun go oh, blam. Man. Um, you want to go low? Nah, go ahead. Cause I um, listen, you know me with. Y'all are more versed in the AEW world than me. I watched the Big John's pause. I I like the first match better. I don't blame you for that because I, I I lean towards that side too. But it's like I like this outcome because it was a definite winner. Like if I put this outcome on that match, it would have been a perfect match. It still was a good match. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But I feel like. This outcome with that match would have been so much better. And then we had a second one where it went to maybe a no, I forgot, no outcome. Where the fuck? A no, draw. a draw. No contest. Draw. No contest. Yeah. Is, this draw. The, is this the blow off? I would have. Mm, no, I feel like it's gonna be another match. It's gonna be another match. But it's gonna be somebody that battles him for the title next. You think it'll be like a stipulation match for the third one? Yeah, I don't think it's the third one. I think it's you over. See, you don't see it coming? No, I don't think. I think, think it's a dub for them um, for this few now. I think it's time for. I think they're gonna move on. I think during the summer it's gonna be one. Well, Kenny's still coming back too. So Kenny and he need his head up with both of these niggas. I said, yeah, that triple threat is definitely going to be there. Ooh. It's going to be somebody new, not somebody new, but somebody who never had the title. MJF or John ja Mox comes back face and face. Moxley can face whoever he wants. Yeah, face versus yeah. face. Mm. John ja Moxley just doesn't give a fuck about none of these niggas. That's not being um, a baby face. That's just not giving a fuck about none of these niggas. Um, Punk and MJF had another promo war. And As they're um, going to have it till we get to a big show, until a revolution or some shit. Yet again, Punk mentioned WWE. Rent free. Rent free. I mean, they actually, MJF brought up WrestleMania. His friends are getting released. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just don't notice how he just skipped past the person that said WrestleMania? No. Punk was like... You can go to the other side and main event the night four. Of oh, because the person be that was saying it was insinuating that he, he wrote his promo. To, so MJF insinuated that he would leave like he's been doing for weeks now. And all you remember is the person who rebuttaled it. When is this match happening, man? You hate when your narratives are just stumped. It's sad. It's sick. And it's only you that does that. Because it's sick. You're a sick man. Is that... You sure you don't got COVID? Go get a test. Because you're sick right now. I actually have to get tested for the party. You? So <laughs> I really have to get tested. You're sick. Fuck. Um, speaking of wrestling, man, Griselda, WWE. Um oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Prayers and blessings to my boy Ray Phoenix. Speedy recovery. Oh yeah, his arm mm -hmm. dislocated, not broken. Shows more why he's a superhero. <laughs> that nigga's not. He's not human, bro. Nobody arm is bending like that and not breaking. He's a suntan Superman. Shout out to Jamari Speaks. He's <laughs> like, what? What did you just say? <laughs> he's a suntan Superman. He's a superhero. <laughs> Well, I feel like that's gonna be like a another MTV documentary about like some like <laughs> some dude from like Venezuela. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Never My mind. Man. I didn't mean to bring up Venezuela. I'm sorry. Well, no, nah, I'm not from there. You bring up. I ain't from there. I do have an yeah. uncle that lives Don't in tell Venezuela. Me that shit about you being from Venezuela and just have me laughing. I don't know Ooh. why. I'm not Cause that you, cause that you from Venezuela. 
DR, man. PR and DR, man. I do have an uncle in Venezuela, but that's because that's where they go. You know what I mean? But why is he saying you're from Venezuela, bro? I don't know. Why is <laughs> Cole 87? <laughs> what is so bad about Venezuela? What's so bad about being 87? <laughs> anyway, why are you ducking this Venezuela smoke? I don't know. What, what, what are you hiding, Lopes? What's in Venezuela, Spanish Lopes? Man, huh? You was getting giddy in Venezuela? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, have you seen Venezuelan women? Shit, I'm going to get giddy all up in Venezuela. You know what I mean? <laughs> Giddy, giddy oxen free. I'm a gay giddy kid in Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> giddy, giddy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> giddy, giddy, yeah, 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 yeah. I gonna name the episode that. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> acting like they don't eat ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, like that one, yes, bro. <laughs> Wait, so have you opened the multiverse gates? I opened the forbidden door. You just opened the forbidden door. I just opened the forbidden door. <laughs> can I finally tell people the giddy story? Oh, giddy no, you can't. oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. Oh, no. All right, can we just oh, tell no, what giddy people what giddy means? <laughs> yes. Get giddy means eating ass, y'all. Means when you, you know what I'm saying? When you when you do the trick dad, you got her in a pedestal, you know what I'm saying? Oh man. My G, God, if you already in the pussy, you might as well cross the street. That shit is hilarious, bro. Oh my god. You got a porn hub shirt on talking about I'm eating ass. This shit says real love, brother. You know what you was trying to do. I know exactly what I was doing, diverting y'all motherfucking eyes. Man. Just which I really need to be needing. Ari, yeah. Ari, low key Susio too. Don't, don't sleep. Not nah, man. Nah. You just mentioned Sky Black earlier. You y'all, y'all ain't peep that. I, I ain't mention her. Y'all ain't peep how he was mentioned. When I mentioned Black. Sky Black, I ain't say nothing about that lady. That nice, Bless respectful lady. Bless her heart. That Christian woman. <laughs> That's Jasmine Cashmere. Bro, what's up with you changing hats? What's up with you, money? What you on your Ray J shit? Yeah. Yeah, you know I gotta. I gotta, I gotta keep the, the nigga like a ninja he, turtle. He like he Donatello. Was, he's just Donatello looking. That's that like Donatello, Donatello purple right there, bro. The nigga went from green. He went from green to purple. Who was the green? Was there a green one? It was an orange one, green. a red <laughs> one, all were green. A light blue green. and a purple one. Nigga, it was all green. It was all green. <laughs> oh my god, son. Yo, right, y'all, 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 y'all don't y'all, y'all ever wonder like. Cause you know how April we used to be hanging out with them niggas. You think he they used to run trains on April? No. Why are you thinking about bestiality right now, bro? That nigga. Bro, you gotta relax. You gotta relax, bro. You gotta chill. You gotta chill, bro. Like take it down a notch. April hung out there. Take too it much. down a notch. She hung out there too much. <laughs> nah, son. She just probably wanted to feed them niggas, bro. They it was wasn't poor. just all pizza. They, all them niggas ate was pizza. Niggas was getting goody there too. Yo, I can't feel my fucking ribs. I can't feel my face. <laughs> I think I laughed so hard. I think I shifted my ribs to like the left, bro. Like, all right, man. Oh my god. Uh, like... Gris- you want to get to this Griselda shit? All right, man. <laughs> What's his name? Greg Hamilton did his job. You know what I'm saying? Snitch Hamilton. <laughs> Yo, that nigga. Oh, that nigga was politicking nigga. outside the offices. Snitch Hamilton did what he had to do, and uh, well, that's they, what saw, though. Well, well, say what you got to say. Like, I say what it really is. They, you know, because when I think the last thing he said was, "Yo, I'm gonna make sure that you know you you because his the original gripe was Undertaker versus Goldberg, his little sample in there. So my assumption is that that kind of had the brass up at WWE." Their heads ringing like, yo, let's double check what other samples this nigga was using. They found a shit ton from what from what we saw. Uh, Claiborne kick got taken down. Uh, the Hurt Business got taken down. French Toast, my shit, got yes. taken down. Yeah, and yeah, Allah sent right. me. Got that taken down. Good. Undertaker, man. That shit I'm mad so y'all, I'm mad y'all saying French Toast like that's the best song on there. But and low key is Claiborne kick. Yeah. And Allah sent me. I like Allah sent me, but you know, 
I mean, I'm in Paris really stuck on you. That's my shit. Under, Under, Undertaker versus Goldberg was my shit. I even like the the Greg Hamilton part. Like that part is fire. Hurrah! Yes. Fly God. What yeah, happened? Yeah, what you think about yeah, it? Bro? Dapper fair? would never. No. It wasn't, man. No, not we gotta no. let these niggas flourish, B. I feel like, like it's distorted, but it is their intellectual property, but it's n- it just sucks because they just had the man on NXT. Mm-hmm. We already see how they feel about NXT. Singing his totally praises. Two totally different worlds. But I don't know if what it is about him and them like not connecting that the I mean Wale it took a while for Wale to get through the fucking gates. So it's not like anybody can just get through that shit now. Like I don't know. I just don't want Wale to be the token guy. I'm not saying that he is, but I think it should be. You know what I'm saying? They should definitely be letting more guys, you know what I'm saying, fuck with the music and or, or promote the music or any type yeah. of way. You know what I'm Wale does the theme for Biggie and the next team, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all like, won't go see Pause. You clearly see the man is a fan of the shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Big fan. Like he's not sitting there just sampling the fucking theme songs or nothing. He just got some fucking skits from the fucking matches and shit. Like, he's putting know. money in their pocket too, because he's supporting them. He goes to every big big pay per view. I don't know. They moving, but the thing is, that's motherfuckers don't really notice, man. So they can give a shit. It's fucked up, man. It's another dollar. So I mean, Fuck you, Nick Khan. I just hopefully we be able to get our songs back on streaming, man. This shit works out, but it's just the nasty parts of you know what I'm saying. This music industry and this copyright shit, man, and creative freedom. Mm-hmm. Anybody can take that shit when you really don't, when you really don't have it. You know what I'm saying? Like all the way. You know what I'm saying? Even in the smallest of instances like this. Like, oh, help us, please. I mean, would they be wrong if they go to Hove? I don't think so. Like I just, at least see what route you will have to go. Like if I'm in that space, at least if I don't really know what route I need to take, I'll at least, you know what I'm saying, go to another source and at least ask ask the question. You know what I'm saying? That's just me in that space. That's just somebody who doesn't know. You know what I'm saying? You have it at your disposal, why not use it? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There. You're next while late. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was your path of trying to, you know what I'm saying, get into this this world of WWE? You know what I'm saying? Like is it easy? Is it is it my image? Like what what is it that I gotta, you know what I'm saying, not change, but what is it that they're not connecting with? They don't fuck with the do 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 I guess. Dog. I mean, while they was on no hands. I was in the car with Shorty, right? I was playing West Side Gun. And you know the ad lib where he'd be like <laughs> She was like, Oh, sound like a vibrator. Oh wow. Hey yo. I can't listen to that nigga the same no more. You should play the, you should play the uh, West Side Interlude on Joyce Wright's album for her. I played that. Con- Yo, Conductor got the best uh, producer tag right now. With the We Have Conductor. a Problem shit. Conductor. We have a problem. Conductor, we have a fucking problem. Oh, no, you that, shit that shit is fire. No, that shit is fire. Shit, that speaking shit of music, fire. man. A couple joints came out. Oh, yeah, some good. We had a couple couple albums and some Lucy's came out last night. Yeah, weekend. Gunna, uh, Shay dropped something. Chris Brown dropped something. I got a chance to hear. Wait, did Shay drop? Did Shay drop the whole tape, or it was it just the um, table for three record? Just table for three. Ugh. Fire wait, though. I'm it's waiting fire. for food for thought, man. I need food for thought. And uh, weekend. Yeah, weekend that, is what I started my. I mean, I got up at I got up at two a.m. for that shit. I passed out during the um, summer. Mark. Nigga, what? Nigga, I support weekend. Okay. Nigga woke up to listen to it on the album. He ain't even buy. I did buy it. No, you did. Yes, I did. I spent the fifteen ninety nine. Check you out, fucking Mark. Fucking Mark. So, man, look, because when let me. Let fucking who you fuck with let 
let Snow Allegra drop some shit and you spending that $15.99. I'm not. I only like physical albums. I would buy a physical album, though, but I don't have a CD player. Come on, I think, I, NFT. I think this nigga is channeling like Michael Jackson and Daft Punk on this album. Real shit. Doesn't he always? Not all the time. If you're thinking House of Balloons, this is far from that. Right, that's how long I feel like it would be a raw. How many Michael albums Jackson. is after that, my nigga? Like, but he doesn't do Michael Jackson and Daft Punk like together. I think this one he did it. So what? What the fuck was Starboy? What the that's, fuck was? I didn't hear like, no Michael I Jackson in that. Starboy. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Don't nigga, did you see the performance? That does not remind me of Michael Jackson. Got you. <laughs> nigga, that's where the fucking comparison came from. After Hours, I think, is where it started for me. After Hours and this. And then to have Jim Carrey be the narrator or whatever, that was dope. Yeah, Quincy Jones on there doing a little interlude. Let me pull it up to the track list. So where did your Michael Jackson comparison start? I said during like that. After I was came out, 2019? Yeah, that's when it started for me. Oh, my God. You know he's been out like since 2008, right? Yeah, when I first heard Dirty Diana, his version, I was like, who is this? This nigga sound like Michael Jackson. And when did you hear it? I heard it in like 2012, 2013. So it didn't start with after hours, though. But I'm music, not voice, music, production, all of that. So his producer made his music sound like Michael Jackson music. Yeah, especially on this shit. I Hold guess. On. I mean, songs I gotta, like I got I gotta finish the album, though. I didn't even get to finish it yet. But a little bit I did hear it. I like the wave. Like I just I just heard an album that had that like radio s vibe with it. Shout out Kevin Ross and the Drive. I think it's called The Drive too. Yeah, had like a radio theme to it also. So I like I like that type of shit. You know, fucking what was our other um joint? Um no, on, Ashley. She's my friend. She's from California. She loves the fuck out of the weekend. Shout out to Ashley for sending me a link. A link to what? The album? Yeah. You know that shit's on Apple Music, right? It is. It's I got Spotify like... also entitled, but she sent me it. Hi, Torrent Chief. Is that why you changed into the pink hat? No, I just like the show. I just noticed hat. you changed into a, another hat. The viewers probably did too. Yeah. How do I make you love your favorites? Uh, sacrifice. Here we go again with Tyler. Out of time. Uh, don't break my heart, which is apparently about his relationship with uh, what's old girl that he was with, Hadid. I don't know her first name, but Bella. He dedicated that to her. What was it? I mean, what was some of the shit that he was saying in there? I mean, it was you no, know, he was. Doing that whole croon crying and shit, you know, is call out my name, but with futuristic sounds, if that makes any sense. Call out my name was my shit. Call out my name. Shit. That was Selena Gomez. So call out my name. Um, all, in, all in all, this was a good album, man. Concept fire. Like, weekend two for two with these, you know, well, three for three if you count Starboy. He's three for three with these poppy R&B albums. I mean, it's, hasn't he? Oh, I thought he was always a poppy R&B type dude. He didn't start off like that, though. To me, he was like, you more Coke R&B. Coke R&B. Yeah, you know. What's Coke R&B most? Make you do a little line. What the hell is Coke R&B? Coke R&B is that I miss you, bitch R&B. I miss you, bitch R&B. So, like, John B.? John B, that the little white dude that be was with, with Tupac. Are you still down? It's like Coke R and B could be like Chris Brown. Wow. In the door. Yo, I don't want to hear your take on music anymore. Yo, Sue, if you change another fucking hat, I swear on my life. This um, Sue, 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 what did you this think about the weekend group. album? Since you out here talking shit, what did you think about the weekend album? I thought it was pretty good from what I heard. You know, I only listened the two to like songs you heard. Started. 
Huh? The two songs you heard? Yeah. So <laughs> I heard You're Married featuring Lil Wayne. I like it. Not married yet, but. Uh, is there someone else? I think that's the one you said that was dedicated. Don't break my heart. Don't break my heart. Oh, well, I got to hear that. Um, Best friends. I feel like this is something that. I don't know. I don't want to say he just threw it together because it feel like it's been thought put into it. But Jim Carrey, I know he's Canadian, so I don't think it was pretty. <laughs> that wasn't a mistake. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like it was something that he should have just put there. Uh, the Quincy joint, I didn't hear all of it, but that's cool. He got Quincy Jones on there. That's what's up. And that's all I heard. This nigga don't like Quincy Jones. What you got against Quincy? Nothing. Another no, album that, that yeah, came out, Gunna, Drip Season 4. Weezy out here. Drip Season forever. Now, I didn't, this was the one that I didn't really, I, I gave it half a listen. I gave it, I think, of the 19 tracks, I gave, I got to about track 10. And fam, fire, 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 fire. But, a couple standouts for me. Thought I was playing was 21 Savage. Uh, fire. How do you did that with Kodak? Another good one. Uh, Push and P with Future and Young Thug is the one that might be the single. I th yeah, I think that, that is the single. You got Chloe from Chloe and Halle on there too. Come That's on, girl. relax. I stabbed that nigga. Lyrically, lyrically, lyrically. I thought <laughs> you giving up, you're giving up Ari Lennox. Is Ari Lennox for the streets now? Oh, you're right. I gotta relax. You gotta relax. My bad. You, you gonna get on crime watchers and snitch on you, bro? Shit, y'all heard that with uh, Freddie. Him and lyrically. Freddie going back and forth. Yeah. Freddie is just trying to gear himself up for this album and get people talking about him, about him other than that Jim Jones shit. He, I mean, look, Uncle Murder, he mentioned him in the wrap up. And Uncle Murder, amongst other people, Uncle Murder was wilding. I think the first line of the wrap up, he was wilding already with the little Nas X shit. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah he, he was smart. We're gonna leave that in 2021. Yeah. Um, so Freddie, I mean, Freddie is known to be a Twitter presence. He's gonna respond his way, you know, and whether it be on, with a tweet, whether it be with a with the IG video, not on wax because he's working on the album as we speak. Mm -hmm. That that's you know, that's it's on him. But we need some music, Freddie. We need yeah, some music. We need some I mean, we, he gave us some music, gives some good tracks last year. So it's like at this point, it's like we need that one more single. Like, give me, we, we need a date. We, yeah, a, well, he keeps saying this year, this year. Yeah, this, as this I'm saying, year. at this point, I need the date. We got the Gang Signs record. We got Big Boss Rabbit, which probably was just a single. Well, not single, probably just a th uh, freestyle. He's going to keep for that. But we probably, I think we got pretty much two singles between Black Illuminati and, with Jada, Black Illuminati and Gang Signs. So. I'm probably like I said, another single, and we can get a, a date, and I'm ready for the, the, the album, man. At least by yeah. at least by spring, because those production credits that apparently he got. I heard there was mm -hmm. an alternate version of Skinny Should. Skinny Should off it? of Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Do you have it? Yeah, no, I have I, it. I heard it was. I mean, I have that. So you yeah, then we'll go look for it. No, what I, type I, of reporting are you doing? You know, I'm like, changing out the hat. I swear I'm taking you off the street. Or is he just changing the lights? I'm changing the lights. You know what I will I, what I will say about the Freddy. Yo hat, and, you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, random. You if anybody watched Blue Clues, don't this hat make him look like one of them salt, the little salt people, the salt pepper people? <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, I'm gotcha. sorry, yo. This nigga look like paprika. <laughs> Somebody tell me how pepper and salt you, had man. paprika. Where was the chili flakes in that mix? They go, they go your man. <laughs> they go your man. <laughs> This 
think about a die over there. Because I ain't think you really pull up the picture. Nigga, sometimes I just be saying shit and it just... Scream, man. Pull that up. I didn't think that shit really was going to really look like that shit. So you keep changing your hats. Keep changing your hats. We're going to have a joke for every hat. Oh, my God. Oh, man. The brother. My man is in the bricks. What's good, good, fellas? What's good? What's good, bro? We just saying Colin doing? Stewart. We just saying Colin Stewart his little pepper his pepper top hat. Salt hat. Salt hat. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> look, he got he's got, got salt shaker hats. What's good with y'all? How y'all doing this evening? So put that hat on and go like this. Yo, we say Stone. What was we talking about? Oh, uh, Freddie. 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 Freddie and Uncle Murder. Oh yeah, Freddie Gibbs pretty much masking his embarrassment from the Jim Jones joint by just trolling other people on Instagram so it comes out. Jimmy Jimmy got his own embarrassment to deal with. You seen what he said yesterday? Yeah, Jimmy yeah, I mean, Jimmy set himself up. It's over for him. Oh he, fuck, what happened? He said he his mom taught him how to tongue kiss. Yeah, and she <laughs> clarified and said that she taught him by not kissing him, but just sticking out her tongue. And having him mimic her movements, which doesn't well, make it better. I don't like it better. Wait, oh, so this guy here trying on every hat he bought. You bought him in all colors. This nigga's mustard. Got flavors. This nigga robbed the back of the truck like Jody from fucking Baby Boy and shit. Got flavors. Now, before I left the East Side, I just made a trip to my local handy dandy Beanie Man. Bro. What I will say though, um, Beanie Man. When Jimmy said that, like, you know what I mean, niggas, and it's me, I'm niggas, we niggas, um, was joking about it, but let that be a Janelle talking about her father teaching her how to kiss. It's a little different. Uh, it's not a little different, creepy. both nasty. All that shit creepy. In social media. I mean, especially after this weird I agree. movie I seen last I agree. night. Hell no. If anybody ever seen this movie called Gully, don't watch it again. Or just burn Gully it. TK? No, it's a movie called Gully that has a, a, a bunch of great black actors in it, but the writing and the direction in it is terrible. It's not like a two. They had a, they had a scene where it's just like, ew, and it's like both sides of the coin. When it's just some creepy shit, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's yeah. a girl or a boy, you know what I'm saying? This sounds like a two B movie. Nah, it was actually like they actually like debuted it at Tribeca and. Put it in theaters after, oh, and it was just yeah. Boy, Travis Scott executive produced it actually. Travis Scott coming back and rolling loud. What y'all think? Had, uh, I mean, that nigga, that nigga is going to be performing virtually. They're going. I want to bring back the. Uh, they want to bring back the motherfucking virtual reality I shit. Mean, I bring, I bring Fortnite to real life. Two five hologram. Yeah, they're going to bring the hologram. Out. I'll be real. Right now, the way the world's going, if he makes it, he makes it. I don't think he will though. Like, in the sense of like the like the actual performance, event. like happening, yeah. like like because I would say I think a lot of shit probably going to be getting canceled by that spring yeah. summer. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be like COVID. twenty the twenty twenty over. I'm a crying guy in the chokehold right now. And then they got this new shit apparently. Got get the out of France. out here to take care. Oh, the I hate you, the I hate you joint. Yeah, man, this shit's getting insane at this point, bro. Like, who's ready to build a bunker? I know them niggas who was on YouTube building the little forts and shit and the swimming pools and shit. Them niggas yeah. done built them a bunker somewhere, they bro. At us like, ha ah, ha. <laughs> yeah, niggas like, we've been underground for five months, nigga, living like gods. <laughs> Healthy than a motherfucker. Shit, man. Real I, oh, real quick, before we, I mean, uh, prayers to K Slay, prayers to Kid Capri. Uh, last and I also, 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 no, finish what you're saying. I, 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 I um, last I heard about K Slate, he was taken off of the ventilator finally, so he's on the path to recovery. Um, I haven't heard uh anything else on Kid Capri, but man, that COVID is out here, bro. It's out here, man. Um, also, rest in peace to a, a legend in our um, our American culture, black culture, movie culture, anything you want to put in that thing, but. Rest in peace, Sidney Portier passed today, uh, 94 years old. Ooh, I mean, full life. A long, full life, man. Crazy, man. I just seen a picture of him and Harry Belafonte, same age. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that he's next or anything like that, but. Two servers love, man. I seen that movie. You know what I'm saying? Movie. It's great to see, you know what I'm saying, these guys live a long life and be appreciated for the work that they gave to us. 
And just for me, you know what I'm saying, just a, I love, we love, we all love film up here. And I know some ways, somewhere throughout our, you know what I'm saying, life, we were showing a Sydney Portier film and we'd be like, hey, that like kind of fire. Like, I kind of see why he was that boy like that. He you know made the original Lean On Me with white kids in London. Bruh, bruh, I was watching the original Raisin in the Sun. Bro, watching Raisin in the Sun, mm -hmm. and he was clowning that man for his white shoes. Why are you coming wearing those faggoty white shoes? Hey. Like, Yo, he sound like Tony <laughs> Soprano. Am I lying? Wasn't that how bro was? He was on bro body, bro. Those, he sound like Tony. I, I, think, I think that's what he said. He said faggoty white shoes, right? That's Gino wrote GTD book. or GTG? GTD got the draws? Let me see real quick. I don't want to be saying. Oh, he said G. <laughs> My bad. Every time, every time Cindy Portier seen. My bad, G. <laughs> Yo, you dangerously horny, bro. Dangerous. Nigga, I didn't see that. Yo, nigga, all I seen was a GT. The Yo, put the whole letter afterwards. I got to go. <laughs> Yo. Yo, Gino, be easy, dog. Yo, take care, fellas. Sorry, I couldn't stay longer. Yo. Nick's tape, nigga. Get your shit off. Nick's tape, bro. And I wanted to talk to y'all about the weekend album. Oh, I got oh, to take, take on that with Tory Lane's album, but we got to talk about that next time. I need a record. Mm. I need a record. Sounds like a, sounds like a segment. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. All right. So I wasn't just saying that out of term. He did say faggoty white shoes. <laughs> Yo, I'm just want to make sure. <laughs> just want to make sure. Demonetize. <laughs> no, it's in literature. Hey man, it's like raising in the sun. Nigga, they got the hard ER in literature. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> why, why white shoes though, bro? Like, what the hell is Sue watching? I was saying every time Sydney Portier seen the nigga Henry shoes. <laughs> that nigga was just I like more than that. I think that somebody else tight. passed too. Somebody else passed in um so we had Betty White and we had John Madden. Oh, the Mac, Max Julian. Max Julian passed. Yeah. Who? I know, man. Matter of fact, you know what, man? Rest in peace to my boy Max Julian. Me watching motherfucking. How to be a player as a kid. Oh, he was the uncle? The fucking dude was. Yes. I did not know who he was, but I just knew he was just some lit ass nigga, just how he was being received at that shit. Then I seen motherfucking the Mac for the first time, and I was just like, this is a masterful movie. From the soundtrack to the acting to the him stabbing that man with the needle at the end. He was a bitch ass nigga. You ain't gonna frame me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't gonna frame me, brother. Frame you, <laughs> but yo, was how to be a really player weird. just a new age version of the Mac? That's what it was supposed to be. Mm. But the Mac is that soundtrack, magnifique. Every give him, time, give him a couple songs off that. Soundtrack. Every time, uh, I choose you. That's the that only song you song. need to know. That's the only song you need to know. <laughs> Like he's talking about. That's the that's a song that was played every time the joint started choosing up. Every time. Every time the joint started choosing up. That song played, bro. Like the fucking pokey flute with the fucking like I'm sorry, never mind. <laughs> God damn. Serenades the motherfuckers, yo. But uh <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yo, you, you heard that too, right? Nah, I was looking at your reaction. It was like, nigga, they got monsters downstairs. The fuck is that? <laughs> what? Sorry, that's the only hood song I know, y'all. You hear that too, right? What the fuck is that? Who's that creeping in my window? No, see, look at, look at Los being an old ass man. See, look, Lisa, I'm not the old ass man this time, Sue. I'm not the old ass man this no, time. Sir. I know the young people songs now. Right, ain't that, ain't that Nardo Wick? Right, no, that's Savage, you know? um, Stomp the Yard. Who's no. that creeping in my window? No, 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 is that how they do it? They do it like this. No, <laughs> we rock it, Thetas. <laughs> we rock it, Thetas. Thetas, Thetas. <laughs> Come on now.
Yeah. Yo, Tom the Yard was it was fake because they <laughs> advertised Chris Brown the entire time. Nigga only lasted You're not two minutes. Keep talking about that shit, man. I, they know what they did to the community. And they'll get they their they'll the get, community. They'll get their judgment when mankind has its final days. They did. They manipulated the community. They manipulated the community for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay. For sure, for sure. But no, nah, man. Um, anything else in music before we move on? I feel like we I'm probably R and B. I think R and B came out. Uh, uh Shay. We, we talking about really Shay. I'm, well, I'm just waiting for food for thought, man. I'm waiting for food for thought. Um, we can listen, we can listen to the record. We can listen to the record. We can do that. It's hard. She the it too. That's what I'm saying. She gearing up, bro. I think Kanye headlining is- Coachella. That's another thing. Oh, yeah, Kanye headlining Coachella. That's big. Um, Especially coming off the Roddy festival. Like coming off that festival, bro, like, I'm definitely around for, like, another, like, Kanye showcase. And this shit gonna live stream, too. You know it's gonna live stream. Right. We're gonna be in there high, watching that shit high as hell. Y'all got the food? Where? We gonna act like we at Coachella. Donda. Donda. Yo, uh, jail is growing on me. Huh? That song Jail is growing on me. Why? Take what you want. Do no. Do no. Take everything. Come on now. The you album as a whole. With, you wasn't album. fucking with Donda. I was say you wasn't fucking with Donda at all. Hell no. That just that one song I like. I guess Chief and Tingy. Even the Griselda song that predictably I would like, I don't like it. I did like I like Kanye. I mean, I like um, Kanye verse on there. Nine of gun talk for me. It's not a. You know what I pop for? You don't pop for Jesus, nigga. White women and macaroni. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! White woman. Relax. Thank you. <laughs> Correct him. Woman. And macaroni. And macaroni. <laughs> hey, macaroni. Baked macaroni. How y'all like y'all baked macaroni? Extra crispy on the top, or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But see, Sonja makes it in a way where it's like that, but you still get to like turn it over. Oh, and it's moist. <sighs> macaroni noises for no reason. Oh man. Yo, pause, bro. Don't ever in your fucking life do that again. <laughs> I just keep going you know back what? to what Kathy said. You know what? I just keep going back to what Kathy <laughs> You're going to watch this episode back, and you'll see, brother. You'll when, see. when we do the timestamps, you going to watch. It's going to be your favorite part. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Oh, please, please note that shit. When you, when I'm clipping you, it. I'm clipping let's call, it. Let's call it suing the blowfish. I'm clipping this shit. Cause that's what yo brother man, I don't know. It's, I don't know what synergy. What what store you get these beanies from? Go take those beanies back. Cause Jay must put the fucking like you get that shit some from bad voodoo on them shits. Bro. You get that shit from Aki store. Them niggas with some badass voodoo on them shits, bro. They must have. I don't know, bro. You got them shits got you acting different. <laughs> Cause on that note, we are gonna get to the. Fuck you I ain't never seen you act like this ever. Freaky man, just oh, say over here, man. Freaky man, freaky man. I'm gonna. Are you got one of you guys can go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dig. Paul. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it's something like New Jersey twerk. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, Jeruz. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. My joint I'm going with today. I am gonna go with Adele. We are gonna play. I saw your um, little tweet. I saw you. I saw you. I seen that. I seen it. Got Which you in a chokehold, huh? Bruh, these these albums is fire. They're really fire. Matter of fact, did I play any? No, uh, did I play any Adele? You I haven't actually. Before? You haven't played it as a wave. I did. All right, then I think I'm gonna play. Uh... Yeah, I play this one. I don't want to. I don't want to down the mood too too well. I wouldn't and paint then, you as. An and adult. I ain't gonna lie. I play. I play Cleo Soul, but I feel like. Joe Budden got the Cleo Soul wave right now, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm playing her after this nigga. I wouldn't paint you as an Adele fan. No offense. Girl, this is actually the first album I've listened to her as like a whole. Damn. So it comes full uh, circle. Comes full circle, yeah. Yeah. 
Matter of fact, um, yeah, I think it, I think actually, I think Adele gets a lot of. I think Adele gets enough. I'm not saying like that. Not like saying oh she gets enough enough love, but I'm gonna play this one song actually by uh, Cleo Soul called Music. I think this is the one. Music like Yo Gotti say it. No, it's called it's called Music. <laughs> uh, let's make sure this is it though. Let me make sure this is it. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay. I don't got my phone, so I can't just check my shit like I used to. You don't hear no bling. But here we go. This is music. Like, no, you about to. You about to, Chiefington. Chiefington. Uh, oh. Uh, there we go. Ah, ah, ah. Here we go. And here we go. Cleo Soul Music off the Mother album. Y'all know how I love my songs with two parts. Excuse me, miss part one and part two. Indecisive. Both ends. Oh, here we go, finally. Let me revert that. Okay, here we go. Now we good. Yeah, this song, two-part song. But, you know, I like songs where it'd be like, the sec the second part should have been the whole beat, but the song expired nonetheless. This song reminds me more of uh, uh, what's my girl named Minnie Ripperton. Will you meet me at the fair? I think it's called Loose Floors or something like that. Will you somebody meet me at the fair? Never heard that joint? I'll play it after the show. I'm on my Gino shit, I guess. I'll play that. Yeah, my Nike tech soon, man. I want Sergio to cheat. Sudan, now what you supposed to do to this song? 
finger guns to this song is why. And the album is literally full of just beautiful instrumentation, bro. Beautiful instrumentation. Now this is the second part. Hey Google, set the vibes. Sorry, I didn't get that. Oh, what do you want to set the volume man. to? Oh, set the volume. Oh, I said set the vibes to. What? Alexa heard you? Oh, did I say Alexa? She heard you though. Babylon team. Did I say Alexa? Dangerous. You might not have called her, but she heard you. Yeah, in my mind, controlling me. One less time, I don't like it. But I can't fight. Sounds some underground Nina Simone type beats. Dangerous. It sounds like. Like, uh, but like that they're there. They're there in the booth doing it. The, the drums. Like, like, oh, this is real instrumentation. That's dope. I can appreciate that. Well, I, who's say all of it is? I ain't gonna kind of say all of it, but I think majority of it is. Though. And I love her range because she can get real spiritual. She can get real inspirational. She can get real sexy with her, her songs, though. That's I love that range with her style. It's a great album, bro. It's a great album. Instrument you know, wise, I like you it. Will, I'm telling you, bro, you really will fuck with Cleo Soul, like for sure. I think I remember I was playing, I think I played this one joint before the um when I you made did? your arms joint. Yeah. I was on it before you, Joe. You kind of were. But when he mentioned it, I was like, I've heard this name before. You know, I didn't remember it was you. You was talking about her way before. Talking about her this summer. Over the summer. Before the, the JBP split. That's no funny. It's not, it's, we're just joking, though. We want her to have all the support she can get, big or small. Who cares? My facts. Wait, what'd you say? He said we wanted to get all the support she can get, big or small. This nigga, you, who you ask who? Ain't that? Oh, go ahead, play that, play that, Mac Hami. Damn, what a mark! You only knew off that little bit of a beat, yo. You yeah. Yeah. mark, bro. Yo, play what that the fuck? Yo, put this nigga on that Jamie Fox game. Guess that song. This nigga gonna lose everything. Band, yeah. Like, yo, yo, please put a Griselda block on here, like. <laughs> you yo, guys, please play some my Griselda. nigga knew off the brute. Like, yo, my off nigga, that was fucking hilarious. I, I rock with them heavy. <laughs> Yo, now we really know what the fuck you fought for. Um, I'm about to play. Um, <laughs> but I only been playing that because I was like, how you been like, you want to come down from Mount Olympus? Yo, God, <laughs> we need you down here. <laughs> we need you down here, man. Hey, yo, God. Yo, God. <laughs> um, I I'll go next. Um, off the New Jersey Drive soundtrack. Actually, no, 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 no. You want to go that thuggery? I won't play that. I won't play that. I won't play that. Look at me being prepared. Somewhat. <laughs> I'm going to play. Where are you now? So high in the world. Whoa, ready. I'm going to play Raekwon off Open, Only Built for Cuba Links. I'm going to play a classic. Rainy Days. Did you ain't play this before? Yes, Surprisingly, I... right? You played something off this album before, though.
legitimacy to it. Man, that beat. Shout out Rizza, man. Rizza, Rizza, we need a Rizza produced. Here we go. Mark Hat. We need a Rizza produced West Side Gun out. West Side Rizza. I need Gun Lib. I'll be fine. Give me Gun Lib. I'll be, I'll be okay. Oh, shit. West Side Doom still supposed to come out too. West yeah, Side Clan. But uh, Sue, so you got your record ready, brother? You gonna play MF Doom? Oh, right. Um, you gonna play oh, another? Oh, another you, gonna, you gonna play? You gonna play some MF Doom? Pause. No. I'm right, gonna fuck go with MF Doom. Um, food. Way, way back. Hmm. No dangerous I'm Doom. Way, way back. Way. Oh, you, are we going back to twelve bit? Yeah. We going back to 2013. Mm, we going back to. We going back to. We going back to early. Early. How far are we going back to Doom? We going. We not even playing Doom. I'm not playing Doom. Wow. Dude. Wow. Look at these 50 um, Cent fans. Oh. Uh, he's just everybody's favorite rapper. Nobody wants to say it. No, he um, ain't. No, he ain't. He is, but nobody wants to say it. And you're proving my point. Oh, um, because, well, Doom? Because that's what they say about Doom. No, we said fifth. Curtis Jackson. Curtis Jackson the second. Curtis Who's Jackson. Third? But I'm going to just play it. I like how he corrected Thank himself. You for, when, you're welcome for your nostalgia right. trip.
That was a good throwback right there. We you know we were jamming to that shit back in the day. Yeah. Summer 08. Bro, that song, bro, that that's song like I said, we went to a performing arts school, bro. So like a lot of them type of songs were just like so dope to, for niggas to start playing. It was like them song, them type of songs was lit in the school, bro. That was getting light. Right now for game everybody. Game. But I would say I ain't gonna cap. It wasn't like that for everybody, but the 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 the, the people that like the music heads, we love the type of records, bro. Y'all was you getting light to this shit in school. When nah, you not again. Like just jamming, bro. Like right, real talk, just jamming. Eggs, Ooh. bacon, grits, sausage. Whoa, that was a song. You never heard? You hold on. Like, no, 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 I do not want to hear a song. No, it's a whole video. Nah, man, we play this shit after the fact because all I want to just know is the Evelyn Champagne remix and No Hands. That's all I want to know. Nigga, they're in a locker room at that. Oh my god. Wait, is you talking about the girls doing it? The yeah. girls, yeah, it was the girls doing it. Yo, we had to we we we, we, we show me after the check because like, these what Eggs, I just keep going this, back this to Kathy's comment. To? I just keep going back to Kathy's comment. <laughs> Sue. He's a wild boy, man. Yo, on that note, man, get your bars off podcast. You already know where to follow us, man. Get your bars off podcast. <laughs> get, your bar, get your bars off pod. Now you're looking at that way and shit. That way. Whatever way it is. Y'all know where to follow us, man. We out of this joint. Jesus Christ. Stay at home if you're sick. Come over here.